flashback for issue 34 of the Star Trek collection. We are looking at the Vulcan Shirok class. Here it is. Uh, we'll have a look at the ship in just a minute, but let's go through the uh, magazine. So it's the Shirok class, uh, heavily featured in Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, there we go. Photon torpedoes um, and plasma beams. So it's, it's quite heavily armed as well. Um, there are a red a redder version. The first ship they encounter. Um, it's not the uh, this sort of beige colour. It's a very bright red colour. Um, a lot of in-universe information that's quite heavily seen and used in Enterprise. As you can see. Um, yep, all the Vulcan ships have this distinct, distinctive uh, warp ring around. Um, now it's not completely circle. It's sort of um, it's not a complete circle. It's sort of squashed slightly, but it's it's a unique ship. It has this very long profile, as you can see, with the warp ring. Um, so it's, it's it's very unique. Obviously, as you can see, the short class air had this very bright red color before they went for the more of the uh sort of the brownsy bronze color that they did but um yeah once again they went through some uh design processes as you can see here they even had it um upside down um and then we have the enterprise um warp ring version that we had there uh we we did get a special of that ship actually and i have done a review on it let's go check that out uh, some more iterations of it. So we had uh, some engines coming out on a, on on like a triangular shape there, which they obviously got rid of. Uh, and then obviously creating it in CGI. So they gave them, that's what they gave them, and this is what they came up with. So you can see, you know, the original Sorok CGI model that I think was in the first season. And then later on, they just brightened it up a little bit, I think. They just, uh, they dismiss the red color of it um but yeah uh, like i said it's heavily featured in enterprise uh first appearance in breaking the ice uh anyway our next flashback episode will be issue 35 the 22nd century klingon bird of prey uh and then we get a really nice top view there of the shirok so let's uh bring it in let me get rid of this magazine so here it is it is it's on the uh it is on the small side as you can see here uh it's really nice it slips in very tightly so there's no way of it uh coming out actually for its size um it, it's got some really nice bits on it so we have um um these windows just here the point there now at the back here, we do have the impulse engines, these red sections just here, impulse engines, and that's clear plastic in there. Um, we've also got the warp ring here, which has got a, a nice blue tint around it, which is nice. Uh, even the impulse engine at the bottom now is also see-through plastic, uh, which is nice. It gives it the uh, that effect, which is nice. Uh, there's a lot of detail on it, even though it is a small long sort of spear shaped they have gone and put on the windows underneath and along the front here uh, at the back as well as you can see uh, the nice little touch of sort of uh, blue paint there goes around the warp ring so you can see that it looks really nice um, overall it's a nice ship unusual design um obviously if you like the vulcans and you like enterprise and it's definitely worth getting um but yeah other than that it is what it is uh we see a, a number of uh vulcan ships in enterprise and they have this distinctive ring sort of design but yeah i i, I like it it's it's unique it's part of the collection uh tell me what you think that is it for us here at flashback thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next video